what's going on what's going on it's your boy ryan Lodi, the machine coming to you live talking about another mistake that i've personally made and a, and a mistake that i've seen a lot of insurance agents make as well as insurance agency owners make and as me being an agency owner in the insurance industry i've made this mistake before so I wanna bring it to you guys. Hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day. Before I go any further, if you don't know me, I take full responsibility. My name's Ryan Lodi, building a nine-figure insurance agency and helping everyday Americans create a multiple six-figure residual income. Here at LC Financial Group, we're hiring, we're growing, and we're expanding in all 50 states. So if you wanna learn more about what partnering with us here at LC Financial Group would look like, DM me, comment below, reach out to any of our partners here at LC Financial Group, or hey, send an email to our careers team at careers at teamlcfg.com. That's careers at teamlcfg.com. So as you guys have been seeing, I've been bringing you a lot of videos that talk about mistakes that insurance agents and agency owners make. And the reason I've been bringing you these videos about mistakes and highlighting the mistakes is that because it's not ultimately what you are doing, but it's what you aren't doing. And also what you're doing that isn't right, what you're doing that you shouldn't be doing and not necessarily what you're doing that you should be doing. So if you don't know what you shouldn't be doing, the mistakes, the, the actions and the activity that you shouldn't be taking, then ultimately that's gonna hold you back from really catapulting, from really getting to that next level in your insurance career. So I'm continually gonna bring you guys tips and strategies and processes that's gonna help you get to that next level, things that you should be doing, but also I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, as I am right now, I'm gonna be bringing you guys mistakes and things that you should not be doing. It's not just about what we are doing, but also what we aren't doing. It's not about what we know we should do, but it's also about what we know we should not be doing. So this mistake, something that I personally made as an insurance agent and now as an insurance agency owner is not being coachable. Not being coachable. And I know this might come across like, wow, like that's pretty, pretty clear. Like if you're not coachable, you're not gonna win. However, you know, there comes times in your career as an insurance agent and agency owner where you're like, wow, I, I've created so much success as an agent or as an agency owner, now I don't need to be coachable because you get to a point where you think you know it all. And this, this quote that is always gonna stick with me is that the individual that thinks they know everything about everything is the most ignorant individual. So as an agent and as an agency owner, you need to stay coachable. You need to continue to reach out for guidance. You need to continue to reach out for help. You need to remove the ego of like, oh, I know how to do this. I know how to do that. I don't need help with it. I'm going to figure it out all, my, all myself. What's that going to do for you? What that's going to do for you as an agent and as an agency owner is it's ultimately gonna hold you back from speeding through the process of really creating the success you desire, of really creating and achieving that financial freedom that you desire. For example, hey, I'm an agent and I'm like, huh, I'm not spending 30, 40 bucks for direct mail leads or I'm not gonna buy Facebook leads off of you know this vendor or that vendor for 15, 20 dollars a lead, right? Or I'm not going to buy telemarketed leads, whatever it might be and you're brand new, you're, you, you just got into the industry, you're like, I'm gonna make my own leads, I'm gonna create my own ads, I'm going to send out my own direct mail pieces. The next thing you know, through trial and tribulation, it didn't work out. Instead of like, hey, just be coachable to the already proven successful strategies and action steps that other agents have already done. So it's like, hey, you have an upline and they're telling you to do something as you being the agent and you're like, well, I think I'm gonna do it my own way. I think I'm gonna say the script in a different way. When your upline is giving you a proven script, a proven blueprint and a proven platform of like, here's what to say, 
here's how to say it, here's how to handle objections. But as us as agents, and I've been there before, we're like, yeah, like I, I think I'm gonna do it my own way, right? Because us, us as human beings and us, uh, us as spiritual beings, like we always want to do things our own way. We always want to, you know, figure things out ourselves instead of, hey, like, how about just look for the information, look for the strategies and duplicate them. Look and see like, hey, you're in an organization, see what the other highly successful individuals within the organization are doing and just duplicate what they're doing. That's what helped me catapult my first few years in the insurance industry. I dove into information, I was highly coachable because me, me coming from a sports background, like already understood the, the necessity of having to be coachable to continue to grow and to continue to really just catapult myself up and expedite the process. But I simply just was very coachable. I took in information. I was like, wow, these people definitely know more than I know about insurance. So I'm going to listen to them. I'm going to, I'm just going to simply listen to them because it, man, it looks like they're successful. It looks like they, they've been doing it for a while from what they're saying. And what they're sharing is more than what I know, so I might as well just dive into it, dive into the Kool-Aid, drink the Kool-Aid, and listen to what these other individuals are saying. And boom, next thing I know, I create success. It's that easy. But a lot of insurance agents and agency owners, they're just not coachable. They're, they're coachable, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to what I was saying earlier. They're coachable for maybe the first, maybe, Maybe they are coachable for a year, two years, but then they really start to create success. And you know, I've seen this as a as a flaw in, in myself was like, I created success really quickly and then I'm like, trying to do everything my, my own. And I kind of closed the gate of being coachable. You know, there's been times where I'm, I wasn't really coachable. And I, I, I understand that. And you guys as insurance agents and agency owners should also see this as well. Is that like, hey, Maybe you are coachable, but then you start creating success and you're like, wow, I know it all. I know exactly what to do. I know exactly how to do it. I'm not gonna listen to anyone now. I'm, I'm not gonna take any information, no teachings. I'm not, I'm not going to any more events, no more conferences, no more masterminds, no more boot camps. I'm not listening to any other podcasts. I'm not reading any other books. I already know it all. What's that gonna get you? It's really gonna, it's literally gonna chop your capability and potential of achieving even more success and more financial freedom in half, right? So you're, you're gonna see like, if you're an agency owner, you're gonna see this a lot, is that you're gonna bring in agents into your organization and you're gonna tell them to do X, Y, and Z. You're gonna give them the proven path and the proven strategy of like, here's how to create success within the insurance industry, within our organization. If you follow steps one, two, and three, steps A, B, and C, you're gonna create success. And then you check in with them a week later and they're off doing something completely different. They don't follow the directions. They don't follow the clear, positive orders and directions that you put forth for them to help them create success. They start to, as we know, reinvent the wheel. They start to reinvent the wheel. They start to do their own thing. The next thing you know, that, that individual just fails out the business because they weren't coachable, they weren't open to the guidance, and they weren't open to the direction that you were giving them as an insurance agency owner. So you're gonna see this a lot as an agency owner. And this is why me personally, here with an LC Financial Group, we do weekly status calls with each, each of our partners. Me with each of my partners and each of my executives, and my executives do weekly calls with each of their partners that are under them as well. Because it's, it's very important to continue to check in, to make sure that, hey, the action steps that we're giving them, the guidance that we're giving them, they're actually following through with that guidance and the action steps that we give them. So if you're an agency owner, I highly recommend 
implementing the weekly status call or the weekly update call. It's a five, 10, 15 minute call that you do with each of your agents, with each of your downlines, whatever you like to call them. We call them here at LC Financial Group partners because we're, they're really partnering with us. But do this weekly call with them if you're an agency owner. I guarantee you're gonna create a lot of success by doing so. And it helps you filter through individuals that might not be coachable because you're giving them clear action steps and directions to take on a week to week basis. And if you see that they're diverting from those actions and the direction that you give them, then hey, they're just not coachable and it's not gonna work out, I guarantee it. And you'll be able to realize like, okay, I'm gonna pour more energy and time and effort into this individual. I'm gonna limit the time and energy and effort that I pour into this individual, right? So. Being coachable, one of the biggest things, guys, one of the biggest things as an insurance agent and as an insurance agency owner, and hey, maybe you're not in the insurance industry, I'm telling you, being coachable in any industry, maybe you're in solar, maybe you're in construction, roofing, maybe you're in real estate, you gotta be coachable. You gotta continue to seek information, to seek help, most importantly, to seek help and to understand that there's more successful individuals, there's individuals that are more successful than you. And if they're telling you things to do, I'd recommend following their directions. I'd recommend following the orders and the positive direction and guidance that they're giving you because more more than likely, they're giving you that direction and those orders because they've done it themselves, right? And this, this dives in a whole nother sector of like, Listen to individuals that are doing what they are telling you to do or have done what they are telling you to do. Because anyone can tell you to do something, but if they haven't done it themselves, me personally, I'm not listening to that individual, right? You, you gotta see like the individuals that you're listening to, the individuals that you're receiving guidance and direction from, they're not just talking the talk, but they're also walking the walk and they're, they're they're talking and acting upon what they're talking about. So that dives in a whole nother sector, but being coachable, being open to guidance, being open to direction. And hey, may, maybe it's even from individuals that aren't more successful than you. Maybe it's from individuals that are less successful than you. It doesn't mean that you can't be coachable and receive guidance from them and receive advice and and ultimately suggestions from them, you don't wanna be closed off to anyone. You know, you, you gotta be able to sift through the data and the information that you're receiving and know like, okay, is this valuable data? Is this gonna help me and my business and my personal life? Is this gonna help me grow and strengthen and multiply all areas of my life? If it is, then hey, take that data, take the information, even if it's from someone that isn't as successful as you, right? Because you don't just want to be taking data and information from the people that are more successful than you, even though that's what I 90 plus percent of the time strive for, but also like, hey, I learn things from individuals that are not as successful than I am. I learn tips, I learn strategies, I learn tactics from them. I learn what to do. I also learn what not to do from individuals that aren't as successful as me, right? So you got to be open to like, receiving coaching and guidance from more than just people that are more successful than you. So guys, number one, just be coachable. Be coachable, I'm telling you. It's going to do such great wonders for you. Be coachable, be open to guidance, be open to direction that individuals are giving you. Number two, hey, also be coachable and open to guidance from anyone. I'm telling you, anyone, right? But you gotta be able to, number three, you gotta be able to be able to sift through that information and sift through that data. Like, hey, you know, these these individuals that are less than sex, successful than you are, they're, they might be trying to share coaching and guidance and suggestions to you. Not all of it is gonna be beneficial for you, but you might pick up that one little piece, that one little piece. And it could be the same for highly successful individuals that are more successful than you that are trying to coach you and teach you and give you guidance. Like not everything that they say is gonna be impactful for where you're at in your life and where you're at in your business, but you're gonna pick up pieces and pieces and pieces. So you keep picking up pieces from all different types of individuals and sooner or later, like you, you got so many pieces that give you this roadmap 
and the guidance to create true financial freedom and true success in your life. So be coachable, be open to guidance from anyone and also be able to make sure that you're able to sift through the information and sift through the data that you're receiving from people. So guys, one mistake that I see insurance agents make and agency owners make is that they are not coachable. Be coachable, and I'm telling you, be open and willing to receive guidance, to receive help, and also be willing to ask for help. Let's go, have a great day. Ryan Lodi here, The Machine, owner of LC Financial Group, where we're hiring, we're growing, and we're expanding in the insurance industry in all 50 states. We help everyday Americans create a multiple six-figure residual income, and we wanna help you. Whether you're in the insurance industry or not in the insurance industry, we want to help you create a multiple six-figure residual income. We want to help you create a business that revolves around your life and not a business that your life that your life has to revolve around, right? Getting to a point where you can detach yourself from the business and the business is still generating income, the business is still generating revenue. We want to help you do that. So here at LC Financial Group, we're committed and we're dedicated to helping individuals create true financial freedom, not just sell insurance and service insurance and Medicare beneficiaries or life insurance beneficiaries, but also how, how, how do you create a life? How do, you, how do you create financial freedom? How do you create passive income? Where do you invest your money? How to invest your money? When to invest your money, right? How to create abundance in all areas of life. That's what we're focused on. We're building a community of highly committed individuals who are dedicated to holding themselves as well as all of our partners accountable to high standards of living. So if you want to learn more about what partnering with us here at LC Finance Group would look like, DM me, comment below. Reach out to any of our partners here at LC Finance Group or send an email to our careers team. That's careers at teamlcfg.com, careers at teamlcfg.com. You guys have a great day. Be coachable, open to guidance because, hey, I've been there before when I was not coachable and it held me back dramatically.